hello students so in the previous video we completed till question number 9 now let's start with question number 10 we are doing pythagoras theorem question 10 the diagram is already given in the question but it is not complete we have to complete the diagram few things are given in the question and few things are not given you even you have to draw, draw the diagram because we will make some constructions here this sign these arrows means that this line and this line is parallel to each other so in the question they have given that ab is parallel to cd ab is given as 7 cm cd is given as 17 cm cd is 17 cm bd is 25 cm find the value find the length of side bc we have to find bc okay so see first of all in this triangle abd in this triangle abd i can apply pythagoras theorem see this is 90 degrees so this becomes the hypotenuse side opposite to 90 is the hypotenuse largest side this is the hypotenuse and this are the remaining two sides okay so in this triangle i'll use pythagoras theorem in triangle abd using pythagoras theorem writing the statements are important what is pythagoras theorem these two sides the sum of the squares of these two sides is equal to the square of the hypotenuse okay so i'll write here ab square plus ad square equals bd square okay ab is 7 cm ad is not known and bd bd is 25 cm okay let's solve this ad square 25 square is 625 okay this 7 square is 49 this 49 will come here we'll shift this 49 here so it will become minus 49 Six six twenty five minus forty nine is five seventy six. If AD is five seventy six AD square, then AD will be root five seventy six, and root five seventy six is twenty four. Okay, so that means we got this side as twenty four centimeter. Now we have to find BC. Okay, see in this triangle, there is no right angle. This is not this any of these are not right angles okay so i cannot apply a direct formula in this triangle any direct formula so what we'll do is we will <coughs> draw a construct a straight line here okay see i'll write here draw be perpendicular to cd means what we are drawing a straight line here b e i name this point as e we are drawing a straight line b e which is perpendicular to cd perpendicular to cd means this is 90 degrees okay now see carefully this is 90 degrees this is also 90 degrees and these two lines are parallel means this figure here a b c e d a b e d becomes a rectangle okay see rectangle means two sides are parallel and the angles are 90 degrees means it is a rectangle i'll write the reason also here angle e is equals to angle a which is equals to 90 degrees and ab is parallel see the sign is parallel sign ab is parallel to ed see 
CD or ED, both are same. They are overlapping with each other. So in the place of CD, I can write ED parallel to ED. Therefore, ABED quadrilateral ABED is a rectangle. Okay. Once I find that it is a rectangle, I can write. Once I know that AB is a rectangle, I'll write AB is equals to ED. Opposite sides of rectangle are equal. AB is equals to ED and AD is equals to BE. Correct. AD is equals to BE. Reason being opposite sides of rectangle. Correct. So they are equal. Means if AB is 7 centimeter, ED will also be 7 centimeter. Correct. If AD is 24 centimeter, BE will also be 24 centimeter. Am I right? So with this we get that ED is 7 centimeter and BE is 24 centimeter. Okay. Now see carefully. This full side CD is 17. This part ED is 7. That means this part CE will be 17 minus 7. Correct. So CE will be 17 minus 7. That is 10 centimeter. Correct. Means this CE is 10 centimeter. Okay. This angle here is 90. Means this is also 90. They are perpendicular. Okay. Whenever one angle is 90, the angle adjacent to it also becomes 90 by linear pair. Okay. No need to write because we have written here that BE is perpendicular to CD. Means it is 90. So now in this triangle, which triangle BEC, in this triangle, this is 90 degrees. BC is the hypotenuse opposite to 90 degrees. And the other two sides are 10 and 24. Now I'll apply Pythagoras theorem again in this triangle. So in triangle BEC using Pythagoras using Pythagoras theorem using Pythagoras theorem I'll write BE square plus CE square equals BC square okay so BE square plus CE square equals BC square. Correct? This is the hypotenuse BC. Now BE is 24 square plus CE is 10 square equals BC square. So this is 576 plus 100. That is 676. Now we take the square root. So root 676 is BC and BC is 26 centimeters. Write centimeters also here. Okay, BC is 26 centimeters. Okay, don't write plus minus sign here because this is the value of a side and side cannot be negative. So you have to write 26 only. That means BC is 26. That is our final answer. Okay, I hope you have understood the sum. Draw the diagram first, then solve this part then solve this okay do it fast See now, in question number 11, question number 11, in the figure angle B is given as 90 degrees, XY is parallel to BC, let's see whether it is useful or not, and AB is 12 centimeter, AB is 12 centimeter, 
करेक्ट दिस फुल ए बी इज ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर ए वाई इज एट सेंटीमीटर ए वाई इज एट सेंटीमीटर एंड देर इज अ रेशियो गिवन दैट ए एक्स इज टू एक्स बी इज इक्वल्स टू ए वाई टू वाई सी इज इक्वल्स टू वन अपॉइंट टू मीन्स दे आर गिविंग एज द रेशियो ऑफ ए एक्स अपॉन एक्स बी ए वाई अपॉन वाई बी बोथ रेशियोज आर वन अपॉइंट टू मीन्स ए एक्स अपॉन एक्स बी इज ऑल्सो वन अपॉइंट टू ए वाई अपॉन वाई सी इज ऑल्सो वन अपॉइंट टू ओके दिस इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन फाइंड द लेंथ ऑफ ए सी एंड बी सी ओके सो विल यूज दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन नाउ फर्स्ट टू फाइंड वाई सी बिकॉज वी हैव टू फाइंड ए सी इन दिस फुल ए सी वी ऑलरेडी नो दिस इज एट सो वी कैन इजिली फाइंड वाई सी हाउ सी दे हैव गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन दैट ए वाई इज टू वाई सी दिस इज रेशियो दिस मीन्स दैट मीन्स इट इज ए वाई अपॉन वाई सी इज वन अपॉन टू इज गिवन लाइक दिस इन द क्वेश्चन बोथ मीन्स द सेम ओके एंड ए वाई इज एट ए वाई इज एट मीन्स इन द प्लेस ऑफ ए वाई इयर आई एल राइट एट ओके एट अपॉन वाई सी इज वन अपॉन टू ओके नाउ लेट्स क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई सो एट इन टू टू इक्वल्स वाई सी मीन्स वाई सी इज सिक्सटीन सेंटीमीटर्स ओके वाई सी इज सिक्सटीन सेंटीमीटर्स वंस आई हैव वाई सी वॉट विल द वैल्यू ऑफ ए सी बी दिस एंटायर ए सी ए सी इज ए वाई प्लस वाई सी करेक्ट सो ए सी इज इक्वल्स टू ए वाई प्लस वाई सी यू सॉल्व द सम वर्टिकली ओके आई एम सॉल्विंग इट हॉरिजोंटली टू कीप द डायग्राम विजिबल सो ए सी इक्वल्स ए वाई इज एट एंड वाई सी वी फाउंड जस्ट नाउ इज सिक्सटीन सो सिक्सटीन प्लस एट इज ट्वेंटी फोर सेंटीमीटर ओके वन पार्ट ऑफ द सम इज डन ए सी इज ट्वेंटी फोर सेंटीमीटर so the year i'll write 24 cm okay now once i have ac with me see this bigger triangle abc okay in this triangle angle b is 90 degrees and opposite to b is ac so ac is hypotenuse if ac is hypotenuse which is 24 one side ab is 12 then can i find bc using pythagoras theorem correct pythagoras is ab square plus bc square equals ac square correct so let's use pythagoras theorem see what i said ab square plus bc square equals ac square i'm solving the sum here okay in the value of ab is 12 and ac is 24 okay so ab is 12 cm plus ac is 24 cm so bc square equals 24 square is 576 minus 12 square is 144 so 576 minus One forty four is four thirty two. So BC square is four thirty two. That means BC is square root of four thirty two. Now, how to find the square root of four thirty two? Four thirty two is nothing but one forty four into three. See, four three is a twelve. One four is a twelve thirteen one four. So four thirty two is nothing but one forty four into three. This one forty four is twelve square, correct? So twelve will come out of the root sign. Twelve will come out. So I'll get BC is twelve root three centimeter. This is the answer.
okay and here remember we also know that value of root 3 is 1.732 you must you must know two values in maths okay root 2 is 1.414 i have already told you before and root 3 is 1.732 so put the value of root 3 here 12 into 1.732 you will get the answer as 20.78 this is your final answer okay i hope you have understood the sum see here from here this was the diagram first we use this given this was the given information ay upon yc is 1 upon 2 i put the value of ay 8 cross multiply we got yc once we got yc add yc with ay to get full ac correct once you have full ac take the bigger triangle and use Pythagoras theorem okay and by using Pythagoras theorem we got the value of BC okay copy the sum start from here properly Question 12. Question 12 says in triangle ABC angle B is 90 degrees and the sides of the triangle are given. See this is a triangle. Angle B is 90 degrees. Okay. ABC they have given that AB is X minus 3 AB is X minus 3 BC is X plus 4 AC is X plus 6 all three sides are given okay and we have to find the value of X We have to find the value of x and then we have to find the value of all three sides. So let's find x first. Very simple, directly use Pythagoras theorem. Using Pythagoras theorem, this is the hypotenuse AC, correct? Opposite to 90, this is the hypotenuse. So AB square plus BC square equals AC square, okay? AB is given as X minus 3 square plus BC is X plus 4 square equals AC is X plus 6 square. Okay, let's open the bracket using e expansion formula. So X minus 3 the whole square is A minus B the whole square that is A square minus 2 AB plus B square okay plus here also a plus b the whole square a square plus 2 a b plus b square equals x plus 3 x plus 6 the whole square that is a square plus 2 a b plus 6 square okay so x square 2 into 3 is 6 minus 6 x plus 3 square is 9 plus x square plus 2 into 4 is 8x plus 16 equals x square plus 2 into 6 is 12x plus 36 okay now x square plus x square 2x square minus 6x plus 8x minus 6 plus 8 is plus 2x 9 plus 16 plus 25 okay and I'll shift these numbers 
this entire expression on the left hand side so it will be minus see this x square will become minus x square minus 12 x minus 36 equals 0 see what we did first I added this part here correct and then I shifted this on the left hand side okay let's make this subtraction 2x square minus x square 2x square minus x square is 1x square correct 2x minus 12x is minus 10x and 25 minus 36 25 minus 36 is minus 11 okay now once I have this now I will split the middle term to find the answer okay means I'll split minus 10 you know remember this that the middle number should be the sum and the last number should be the product okay so this is the sum product should be 11 means we can get 11 by 11 into 1 11 correct but when I add them I should get minus 10 so I'll take minus 11 plus 1 minus 11 plus 1 is minus 10 when you multiply them you get minus 11 okay so splitting is minus 11 plus 1 okay let's split this x square minus 11 x plus 1 x minus 11 is equals to 0 let's take common here x common x minus 11 and there is nothing common here so I'll take one common x minus 11 now x minus 11 x minus 11 will come common So this answer is x plus 1 equals 0. Now we have to find the value of x also. So here if you see properly the value of x will be I'll take x minus 11 equals to 0. See this bracket is equals to 0 or x plus 1 is equals to 0. See this step we do not do in factorization because in factorization we have to stop here once we get two brackets. But when we want the value of x, we have to do this step where this bracket is equals to 0, this bracket is equals to 0. So here we'll get the value of x as 11 or here we can get the value of x as minus 1. Okay, so this is a negative value. Discard it. We'll take this value. 